Hello, welcome to Morgan's Bit Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. It's time to ch check out another Keyforge Worlds Collide deck and let's get going. We're just gonna grab one here, we'll take one in the back here and relieve Draco from some weight there. <laughs> He's holding so many decks. And let's open this up and see what we get. I'm hoping that we don't get Brobnar this time. Well, yeah, let's just hope for that. And we did not get Brobnar, so that's good. So, let's see if we can find the one that, the, the one deck to rule them all. Uh, I want to find something that I can use in when oh, I play some online leagues and such. I want to find a really good um, Worlds Collide deck. So here we have the Keris Soul Feeder from the Skeptis, Skeptics Bog. That was kind of cool uh, image there. So on Team Star Alliance and Shadows. That could be good. You know, that, that sounds promising. So let's start here with some more wool, Moor Wolf. More wolf, moor, I guess. <laughs> Two power skirmish, ready each other wolf creature. So I guess we're gonna have a bunch of these. Three, four, five. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I don't have a deck with these guys. Uh, I don't think so. So that is cool. So five of these. So basically, you wanna get some of, you know, you just, when they're gonna trigger each other. Two power skirmish. They're not that strong, but they can do some damage. So that's that's kind of cool. And I love this card Nature's Call. Free Amber. Play, you return up to three creatures to this owner's hands. You can actually trigger these guys again then. So you can just keep, you know, yeah. Wow, so if you have a bunch of these out and we return three to the hand, well, we return, you know, and then we can, yeah, that's interesting. Then unnatural selection, free amber. Play, you choose three friendly creatures and three enemy creatures, destroy each other creature. This is good uh, sort of controlled board wipe. Song of the Wild, play for the remainder of the turn, each friendly creature gains reap, gain an amber. So you get two amber when you reap, and we have a bunch of creatures, so that could be good. Oh, regrowth. Free amber, return a creature from your discord pile to your hand, so we could get one of the wolves back, basically. Harmonia, two power elusive, after you play a creature, if there are more enemy creatures than friendly creatures, gain an amber. A cauldron Ball, don't like this one that much. Free amber. Play deal damage to each creature equal to the amount of damage on that creature. Well, it could work sort of with these, I guess. Because let's say we have, let's say our opponent has a four power creature, we could fight it with two power skirmish, do two damage to it, and then play this, and it will do two more damage. I guess it's not that bad in this set, or in this deck, maybe. Bramble Link, three power skirmish. If you have used a creature to reap this turn, he enters play ready. Another, you know, skirmish fighter. That's pretty cool. So overall, interesting untamed. They're very different from the ones that I've seen before. And then we have the Stunner for Star Alliance. Uh, it's an upgrade. Free Amber, this creature gains Fight Reap. You may stun a creature. CXO Tabor, 3 power Fight Reap. You may play or use one non-Star Alliance card this turn. That's pretty cool. That's a good That's a good one to like use the regrowth and then pull back another Star Alliance card and so on. Calvin, 2 power Fight Reap, draw a card. And he can be played as an upgrade, and then the creature gains Fight Reap draw card. That's that's not a bad one. Psy Officer Queen Can. Two power elusive after a play chooses an active house, which matches no cards in play, steal an amber. And red alert. Play if there are more enemy creatures than friendly creatures, deal damage to each enemy creature equal to the difference. It, it could be good. Lieutenant Karkar, five power taunt. Hazardous three. Uh, so yeah, he's a strong, you know, he can protect something. Maybe like Queen Can or Calvin, I guess. Two of those, I like that. Three, nice. So we have a lot of taunt. I kind of like the board we're building here. Small creatures, but interesting effects. And these guys will protect. Then four power, first officer Frain. Play fight reap, a friendly creature captures one. I like this one as well. Explorer, three power skirmish, and he can be played as in a, an upgrade instead. And then the creature gains skirmish, so could give someone skirmish. We have a lot of skirmish going on in this deck. And this one is good. Three power com officer Kirby. Play fight reap. You may play a non-star alliance artifact upgrade or action card this turn. That's a good one as well. A two of those. Wow. Okay, so so far this deck is really interesting. I like both houses so far. Then we have shadows with treasure map, free amber, and if you have not played any other cards this turn, gain three amber more. For the remainder of the turn you cannot play card. So this is a four power card, uh, four amber card a lot of times, which is awesome. Whisper, three power elusive, action, lose an amber if you do destroy a creature. This is a good solution to some annoying big ones. 
And Fidget is cool with two power elusive. Reap, discard a random card from your opponent's archives or the top card of their deck. If that card is an action, play it as if it were yours. This is good against like logo sticks that archive a lot, so you can get rid of one of those archive cards and use it maybe as well. Brand the Fanatic, three power skirmish. Play your opponent gains an amber, destroyed steal three amber. So the question is always when you see Brand, can we destroy it somehow? Well, we can destroy it with this guy, I guess. Trust no one, play steal an amber. If there are no friendly creatures in play, instead steal one amber for each house represented among enemy creatures to a maximum of three. That's a good steal card. And Simon, wow, we have a lot of small creatures. One power skirmish, again, another skirmish. This is like the skirmish deck. Fight, put the creature Simon fights on top of its owner's deck. And Ronnie Risk Clocks is good with two power. Play steal an amber. If your opponent has seven or more, steal two instead. That's a good one. Chimera Eclipse. Shuffle each flank creature into its owner's deck, which is kind of good since we have a bunch of play effects. We can you know, play some creatures and, you know, yeah, shuffle them back. J Vinda, two power elusive, deal an damage to a creature. If this damage destroys that creature, steal an amber. That's pretty good. Yeah. And then Hawk is nice. Free amber, destroy an artifact if you do gain an amber. And hit and run, deal two to a creature, return a friendly creature to your hand, which is awesome since we have so many play effects. Yeah, I like that. And we have the other Vinda as well, a Vinda, four power reap. Deal one damage to a creature, if this damage destroys that creature, your opponent discards a random card from their hand. It's kind of weird, de weird deck this. It's like we have a lot of... We have a lot of interesting effects and interesting things going on. But everything is small. <laughs> we only have like small creatures, but they have good effects. And these taunt guys, I do like that. And it feels like there was a lot of creatures as well. I'm going to sort this out a little bit. Yeah, I do like... I think this will be interesting to play. I mean, it's, it's probably going to have some issues. Uh, but still, so we have 3, 6, 9, 10, 13, 16, 19, 24 creatures. That's a lot. 24 creatures. But they're all small. So, I mean, all of these are very, you know, if they do like a some kind of, you know, do there's a lot of cards that's like, hey, I do two damage to everyone. Then they're going to just wipe us out, sort of. But then we have these five powers as well. And we have some amber control, some drawing cards. This is, I like this playing, you know, out of house or using some steel and steel basically. Yeah, interesting. So, amber wise though, like the pips three, four, five, six, seven. But then again, the Song of the Wild will give us some Amber. And this will steal. And then this will let us play some creatures again that has play effects. I like that. This will get us an extra Amber if we destroy an artifact that has... Um, well, if we destroy an artifact, which we will do basically when you play it most of the time, unless you get it in the first... in the starting hand or something. And this, in you know, if we play this at the right time, we get four Amber. So... But I mean, we have so many creatures, so this deck is about getting them out there and then start reaping, right? Or fighting as well, because I have so many skirmish fighters in here. And some steel there. Yeah, I, I think this will be really interesting to play. I don't think this is like the, the super deck that I'm looking for, but I am excited to try it out at least. So thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with more videos soon. Have a great evening, morning, whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Do you want to keep this little dragon this happy all day long? Then like the video.